Hi, I'm Shelley from Frozen Froth and I've had lots of questions about our English paper piecing Liberty Fabric subscription boxes. So today I thought I'd take the chance to have a bit of a chat about the subscription boxes and answer all your questions that you've asked and commented on the previous videos before. So let's get into answering your questions. So I've had lots of questions about the subscription boxes so I thought I'd do a little Q&A session today of them. Um, I started, I've got, I've got the questions here so again you know as you can see if you've watched any of my other videos I'm a bit rubbish at remembering things so what I have to do is write them down and make notes so I can tell you about them. Sorry, just have a... So, so basically I started the subscription boxes da -da, um, last December. Uh, I'd been thinking about starting them for, for quite a while because I'd not seen anything where it did the Liberty Fabric and the EPP shapes. And I thought, oh, do you know what? It'd be so lovely just to get a box of gorgeousness through your door each month, um, containing your fabric and your sewing goodies. And it's just, you know, let's face it, last year was pretty rubbish year. And I just thought, oh, something like that would be really nice. And I find EPP so relaxing. I find it quite addictive. Um, and um, I wanted to share that with people. I wanted to share the calmness of it and the fact that it's not like other kinds of quilting and sewing. You can take it anywhere with you. It's not like you can drag your machine out with you if you're doing um, quilting on your machine. So this you can take anywhere. I mean, you can even do it on your commute to work if you really wanted to, um, or on a plane, or sat in the garden, or watching TV, anywhere. Um, so that's why I decided to do that. Um, so it has evolved over the last 10 months. I mean, the first box that we sent out didn't include um, a block pattern. Um, it included instructions on how to use your paper pieces that were included, um, but no block pattern. But after the first box, we got feedback saying that, oh, do you know what, we'd actually like a block pattern in there. So. That's what I've been doing ever since, like designing a block pattern ready to, you know, to put in it each month. The, um, it's not like a normal subscription thing where you, you get a block pattern and that's the block of the month and you carry on doing the block every month until you make a full quilt. I didn't want that. I want it to be able to, so that you can dip in and out as ever you like, because let's face it, I know that things, especially finances, aren't always the same month on month. So I don't want you to be tied in and think, oh no, oh, I'm going to miss out if I don't get next month. So I won't be able to complete the quilt because there is no quilt as it were to complete. Each block is an idea. Each block is a separate block that you can then go away and make into a a cushion cover or make into as part of a table runner or put into a quilt the choice is yours because if you want a quilt the same as like 40 other people 50 other people then you might as well just go to a shop and buy one instead of you know using your own imagination and doing it like that and I think that is the joy as well of, of sewing so when I send you these these boxes and you've got the fabric I do tend to make the block out of the fabrics that are included in that block that in the box sorry that month but it doesn't mean you have to use them you can make your block out of any fabric you choose because it's your block and it's your project and that's what I want from all of this I don't want everyone to have the same same block as each other so that is you know that's my aim in this so sorry you can see how passionate i am because i just waffled a bit there so next question so each month i really do put my heart and soul into it as you can as you can tell of how passionate i was just speaking about it it really is 
what drives me every month. Believe me, it's not money because we, we put a lot of stuff into our boxes. As you can see, I will get um, the link of the May subscription box reveal. I haven't done a subscription box reveal since May because, well, I, I didn't have time really because the kids have been off school and with one thing or another. And if you saw my catch up video, you'll know what's been happening behind the scenes. So I've not really had a chance, but this month, I will definitely be doing a reveal video, which will be, uh, should be on the 14th of the month. So we don't ruin people's surprises. So everyone loves the surprise. Um, so each month you will get, if you don't cancel, obviously, because um, you will get charged on the first of the month. And why do we take money on the 1st and you don't get sent it until the 7th is because honestly we're a small business and when you send us that money it takes a few days to get into our account so when that hits our account that money is then used to buy the things that we've already chosen but not necessarily add the funds to buy to then put in your subscription box so that is why it doesn't go out until the 7th it's not that we want to hang on to your money or anything like that because believe me as soon as it's in it's out it's a story of my life really um so and i'm sure you'll have seen that again i'll mention you get so much value for money in your boxes that again it's it's not about us making a big profit on them or anything else like that. It is literally for the joy of sewing. So as well, we've had lots of questions about where do we post to? I've had quite a lot of questions on the other videos as well. So we post to the UK, obviously, um, Canada, USA, Australia, New Zealand, and the price of postage for places like um, the US and Canada and, and that, I can't remember offhand how much they are, but we don't, we don't profit off them. It is literally, it is what it is. It does cost that much to post out. And I wish I could do it cheaper for you, but that is just how much it costs. So that's what we have to charge to post out. Um, when we post internationally, it's sent by um, trapped and signed for so you know that you you're going to get it when we um when we post a mouse as well whether it's to the uk or internationally you do get a um email saying that we've dispatched it and in there it does have the tracking information because posting it to the uk we send um, tracked and signed as well so all through royal mail um oh we're not currently posting to the eu that's not because we fell out with the eu or anything else like that it's because oh what can i say brexit has complicated the whole whole tax thing and i haven't quite worked out how to do that and how to deal with the whole tax thing and if i sent it then you would have to pay um import tax when you got there and to be honest with you it just it just boggles my mind so currently we're not posting to the eu um so on subscription box day i literally carry like a pack horse all your subscription boxes it takes me about four or five little walks to the post office because i do use the local post office as well to um, post them so apologize if you've ever been stuck behind me in the local post office this is really important to me as well because i want to support other local businesses um so that is why i use the local post office and i suppose yeah i could get the postman to come and pick the box up from me but it's not quite the same and i do like it. it's a, a lovely walk the post office is opposite a lovely church and they have sheep in the churchyard and then then we have a local butcher so it's really lovely and i do get to talk to lots of people on the way there and back which okay so perhaps not that it does eat into my day but i just love talking so and 
and what do you get in each monthly boxes? So each month in the Feast of EPP, which comes in a box like this, it's not, it's mostly pink. It's not always pink because sometimes I think, oh, do you know what? Like, fancy a bit of a change, but I do love a bit of pink. So in each box you receive six Liberty Fat Quarters the, of the quilting cotton fat quarters and each fat quarter make, well, uh, can't even speak, measures approximately 56 centimetres by 50 centimetres and you get six of those. Paper shapes, it depends on what block I put in, um, to what paper shapes um, we have. What did we have last? I can't. I can't actually remember what I put in August box because it seems quite a long way away and I can't tell you what's in October's box because we haven't sent it out yet so it's, it's all a surprise but um, yeah so you'll get paper shapes you'll get a block pattern which I talked about before so the block patterns as well have all picture instructions in, photos of how to baste each shape, how to sew them together and then how to make up your block. Um, you get two reels of Gutterman thread and at this point, 100 meter Gutterman thread I should mention, at this point you've already got your £35 that it costs for your box so at this point you have got your money's worth as it were. So then on top of that You've all, you then get a needle and two pins always, let's face it, we're always losing needles and pins. Um, and at least two sewing goodies, like we've had in the past, um, magnetic, magnetic wrist pin cushions, we've had, what else have we had? Thread caddies, glue pens, scissors, lots of different things. So, and then you normally get a sweet treat and a drink as well, included in there, not a drink like a tea bag or whatever to make yourself a drink. So as well, I've been asked, um, can I swap items in my box? Um, unfortunately not. When it comes to the boxes, um, they come as they are. We can't swap things in the boxes. And will i get repeat sewing gifts or slash fabric in my boxes that's another one i've been asked so you may get the same design of the liberty fabric but in a different color way it it makes a difference um but sewing gifts will not be repeated in a 12 month period so nothing that people got since last december will be repeated in the box, you'll not get the same gift twice in a 12 month period. Um, as well, I've had, um, I'm allergic to um, the edibles that we put in. Um, why do you put edible things in and not another haberdashery item? Well, we don't cost in, which is a bit naughty. Again, not business woman of the year here. Um, I don't cost in the price of the, the little sweet treat and the little, um, the drinks I just think it's nice I think it's nice to just have as you can see nice just to have a drink and a little little snack while you're looking through your box uh, or when you're doing your sewing it, it's just a, a nice thing um, but obviously if if you're allergic or you just don't want them that's fine just just let us know at the point of ordering it's you know, it's not a problem. It's I'm not going to force them on you. Um, and again, unfortunately, we don't do alternatives because, again, back to my business woman of the year thing here. I say that very sarcastically because I don't price them into the price of the boxes. Um, I can't swap something um, that's just a nice gesture for something you know like a haberdashery item because the cost is so much more and as much as i'd love to be able to do that i just can't because i just can't afford to 
So will I find out what's in the box before I receive it? So if you sign up before the 7th of the month, your box will be sent out on the 7th. And if you live in the UK, um, your box will be with you before we reveal any um, spoilers. Obviously, international post takes a bit longer, but we will not reveal any spoilers before the 14th of each month to give people a chance to get the boxes. Um, because people do like a surprise. It's it's nice to have a surprise. When do we release our slots for the next month's subscription boxes? So we release extra slots for our boxes on the first of every month. We we only released so many slots each month. Um obviously if you've already subscribed, you're not gonna lose your slot until till you cancel it, which by the way you can do at any time. So if you bought a box and then decided, oh, do you know what? It's not for me. It's I don't like EPP. I don't like Liberty Fabric. I don't know anyone who hasn't, but um, who doesn't like Liberty Fabric. But anyhow, um, that's fine. Just let us know. Um, let us know before the first of the month so that we can cancel before you, ch you know, you're charged again. Um, so that's fine you can cancel at any time we don't want to hold you hostage we've all been held hostage by you know some kind of subscription box or some sign up before that we've not been able to get out of we released them back to what i was saying before i digress on the first of the month and um, we only released so many slots because obviously it's a small business it's me and obviously andy when he's well um so we never want to take on more than what we can handle because we want to give you our all. We don't want to take on too much so we're not sending things out that aren't exactly what we would want to receive. Um, so that's why we only release so many slots. So the extra slots gets released on the first until they get sold out. If you signed up after the first, but before the seventh, I mentioned this earlier, you will get sent your box out on the 7th with everybody else then the next time you would get charged is the first of the following month and then it would be sent out the 7th of the following month for your second box obviously if you didn't choose to cancel if you sign up after the 7th your box will then go out within two working days of you signing up then um, then again you'll get charged on the first of the following month and your second box would be sent out on the 7th and so so on and so forth because then you'll always get charged on the 1st and then it'll get sent out on the 7th. As well as that if the 7th is a Saturday, a Sunday or a bank holiday in the UK, um, it will then be sent out on the following working day which is Monday to Friday excluding bank holidays. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Oh, payments we accept debit card credit card and paypal and again mentioning again it automatically goes out on the first and the seventh we don't have hold any of your details it all goes through a third party um thing that works its magic that has to be its computers it's does that it's all gdpr you see so we don't hold on to your bank details at all and um, we never get to see that information that's all kept private there so that and what else there's something else i wanted to say but i can't no i had it all wrote down and then there was something else that andy mentioned to me and saying oh Oh, you should tell them this and now I can't remember but if you have any more questions write them below in the comments um, so that I can answer them for you because there might have been things that I forget because like I said my head is all the time so thank you so much for watching and if you've enjoyed my ramble and you want to see the subscription box reveal that I'm doing this month, give me a thumbs up and press the subscribe button. So I am doing some more sewing tutorials next next week as well. So um, that'll be fun. Um, so 
thank you. I just want to say thank you so much again for watching and thank you for everyone for subscribing and thank you for anyone subscribing to my subscription box. It really does mean a lot. And I will catch you next week. I'll see you soon. Bye.